Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Shit Account Reviews. So in today's video, let's see how to use Google Saved Passwords uh, in other apps. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get in the video. Please enjoy. So yeah, let's uh, directly see that. Let's not waste any more time. So if you go to settings, if you scroll down, you should see apps. If you see uh, LCA default apps. So here there is default apps. It may not be available in all the phones. Uh, if, if you cannot see this, then you try to update uh, your OS, iOS. So you can directly update your iOS and uh, it should be coming up. If it still doesn't come up, then maybe that's not supporting your uh, iPhone. So if you open that here, you can see password and codes. So click on that. So here you can, in so here you can see Chrome coming up. It will be by default uh, disabled. So you'll have to enable it. So if you disable and enable this, if you disable and enable this, you should see a message something like this. You can use saved passwords in other apps on your device. They they are saved to Google Password Manager for this account. The email ID will be mentioned here. That way you can use this and then you can press OK. So yeah, that's how you can you know. Um, use the Google Save passwords in other apps or the browsers so you can definitely check this out so this way it would be useful in using Google Save password in other apps as well so you should definitely try this out so let me give you all a quick example so I'll open Safari browser so so this is Amazon website so if I refresh this page it will automatically populate the uh, ID and password it will give a suggestion from Chrome password manager so you can select this one or you can you know click on this key icon over here and you can choose which email id password you want to select from this list and that would be you know added uh, over here and that way you can use chrome passwords in uh, safari browser or uh, if you want it to use in any other apps they can definitely do that as well so whenever you are entering the username and password this pop-up should come up there and you can select which username and password you want to fill and uh, you can access google password manager from there so so yeah if you like the video if you think this video is useful let me know in the comments uh, if you like the video please do the like button subscribe comment let's catch you in next video until then see you bye